thanks everyone for joining. Today we're going to talk about how SonarCube integrates into your development workflow and how that's valuable for your team. Now, for those not familiar with Sonar Source or SonarCube, let me briefly touch on our mission. And that is that every developer and development team uses Sonar Source products for their code quality and security. Since the beginning, our products have been made by developers for developers. We want every developer to be able to use them and we want them to be a part of that development process. We want things to be simple and transparent and we want accuracy in what we provide and to always be helpful. And so the end goal is that every developer writes clean, safe, quality code every day. Okay, if we talk about coding practices today, developers love to write better code. And today they wanna to get feedback during code review. And there are some standard tooling and processes that developers nowadays use for that code review. They're creating branches for new features and for bug fixes. They ask for feedback from their teammates to find problems and to improve their code. And they're doing that in their ALM tools, GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, and GitLab. Now, where's the right place to deliver value? Well, we believe that is the ALM and it's the standard expectation here. This is where developers are tracking code and where they're submitting changes for review. So there's no doubt developers spend a lot of time in their ALM and they're using pull requests. Pull requests are where developers are already discussing about code quality and the validity of a code change. And so it's only natural for SonarCube to provide feedback there. And for some time now, that's exactly where we focused our development efforts. We started back in SonarCube version seven with branch analysis. And from there, we improved our integration to include PR decoration for all four of the ALMs that you saw earlier. We're on version 8.3 now, and this really latest release is where you can find the complete set of functionality that we're discussing here today. So it's important to add value in the right place, and that's the pull request. Now, the right data is just as important, and that's where we leverage the value of the SonarCube static analysis and its ability to detect issues and vulnerability in your code. And does it make sense to stop there? Let's make the analysis integral to the workflow. So let's see firsthand how SonarCube integrates with the ALMs and what it can do for your PRs. I'd like to mention that this feature is available starting with developer edition, and it's easy to request a free trial online at sonarcube.org. Now, before we see that live demo, let's take a quick look at a typical workflow. Elsa mentioned earlier SonarLint when we started, and it's a free and open source IDE extension that finds issues on the fly while you're coding. Okay, so let's say we're done with writing our code, so we're ready to open up our PR, so we do that. That kicks off our CI systems to check out and build code, and that in turn is gonna kick off an automatic sonar cube analysis. And when that analysis is com complete, any bugs and vulnerabilities detected are decorated right back into your PR. In GitLab, failed quality gate, and that's due to five unreviewed security hotspots. So you can see we're bringing a consistent, valuable feature set for all of the ALMs with every pull request. We're giving you a clear quality gate in the pull request, as well as detection of bugs, code smells, and vulnerabilities. You saw that we were able to drill down on an issue in SonarCube and in fact, then when we changed the status of an issue, that gave us a live update back into our pull request in GitHub. You also saw the ability to block a merge based on your quality gate profile. In this case, we blocked because we had an unreviewed security hotspot. And of course, you saw the multiple ALM support. Okay, we have, a, we have four additions to fit every use case, starting with community addition. Community addition it's free and open source. It's used by thousands of companies and organizations, and it supports 15 languages. Branch analysis and the PR decoration feature that we've been looking at here today starts with developer edition. We also have enterprise and data center editions for more advanced use cases. So let's summarize what we covered. 
built for developers and development teams. It's all about giving you the right information at the right place and in the right time, at the right time. We definitely are all about keeping noise down and minimizing the context switching. It's giving you a clear quality gate status so you know whether or not you can merge that code with confidence. And then finally, this is all possible because of a tight integration with our partners. And so I think that's, uh, that's, that's it for us. Thank you for joining. We appreciate it. Look for more webinars in the future from SonarSource. Um, and um, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.